Some tribes are just... mysterious. <laughs> ah, that is a cop-out. Some are just pains, agonies. They are thorns on our side, creating a rotting wound. I have already spoken of the silent striders and the glass walkers. They fulfil that criteria. The Octina... They smear shit on the thorn before it reaches the skin. They want that wound to fester. The Uctina are vile, dirty combatants. Worse than bone gnawers, the Uctina are... shall we say, adept at harnessing weapons that we would prefer they did not have. You've no doubt heard the tales. Who hasn't? That the Uctina are not trusted by their peers. That the Uctina, because they are prepared to bind banes and use them as weapons, are in some way pushed to the periphery of the Garo nation. Well, that was the case one day, many years ago. But the Garo nation are desperate now. The Garo Nation will seek whatever aid they can get. And let's be frank, the Uctina are more capable of binding spirits than any other tribe. When you encounter an Uctina third, you remember it, or you die. It will not be a passive encounter. Now, thankfully, they have very rarely had cause to interfere in our operations. Their main ballywick is the Master of the Umbra, the Spirit of World, the Black Spiral Dancers, and the occasional Fomori. Our activities are somewhat more earthbound, shall we say, than the Uctina have interest, and that suits us just fine. But when they do come sniffing around our operations, they tend to strike with unerring accuracy that we cannot anticipate simply because we do not know their ways. We do not understand them, they do not understand us, and their sheer savage ferocity combined with alien gifts... They should not be using those powers. Those are our powers. Those are the powers that the worm has given us. They should not be able to use them without great punishment, afflicting their spirits, their bodies. Where are the writhing parasites within their stomachs? The Uctina somehow get away with utilising the worst the world has to offer, and coming out squeaky clean on the other side. That is true corruption. That is the defiler worm ingesting them, shitting them out, and giving them a polish as they make their way past the final sphincter. They are true tools of the worm, but they do not know it. Even we do not know it. We do not know how they gain these powers, how they use them, why they use them the way they do. They strike against us, I do not know why, because they are clearly built, perhaps even better than the Black Spiral Dancers, to serve the worm. They do not do it openly. They are covert agents within the Garo Nation. No, I am losing myself now. The Octina... The Octina vex me, and they should vex you as well. They do vex their fellows. They upset them. They humiliate them. The Octina, while they do not uh, exhibit the pride of the Silver Fangs, do hold themselves with a lofty arrogance. They are the mind of the Garo Nation. They are the spirit of the Garo Nation. They are the Chimera. They are the greatest warrior, and the greatest scholar, and the greatest diplomat. They are the ones who shall hurl themselves through the breach and communicate with the totems. They are the ones who will journey to Malpheus to destroy the Urge Worm. They are the greatest among the Garu. No, man, that is perhaps untrue. But allow them to think that, because it pisses off their colleagues in other tribes. Terrorists, all of them. But these are the most fundamental, the most fanatical. Not in the way that a red town wishes to destroy everything it sees, or a Wendigo wishes to tear your insides out and wear it as a headdress. No, the Uctina... The Uctina is capable. 
and shows that capability through foreign means. I am ever surprised that the Native Americans that spawned the Uctina did not put them to the spear when they had the chance. For they are errant, they are aberrant, they should not exist. Indeed, why do they exist? Their ancestors no longer do. Their knack for survival, their desire, their dogged need to survive has them breeding with anything and everything to survive. And do they survive? The Wendigo, I understand, look at them quite bitterly. They say the Uktina have lost what it is to be a pure tribe. The Uktina, like the Bone Noras and the Glasswalkers, know the truth that you have to adapt to survive. And that is why the Uktina are still with us. But yes, the other tribes dislike them. Do you know why? The Uctina can banish totems. They can just send them on their merry way. They can sense the most potent relics. But when a spirit appears, if an Uctina does not like it, they can just whew, swat it. Setting the Uctina to be the big chief at camp. The Uctina can say, no, the only totem that's worth considering is mine. The only relics worth considering are mine. The only banes you can trust are the ones that are around my neck. The Uctina holds a position of power, not unlike a mafia chieftain, because it knows things that other Garu do not. How do you combat something like that? How do you combat something that deals in... Spheres of influence that we do not even touch. It is not simple. Simplest answer is to communicate with those spirits yourself. Or rather, get in touch with Pentex employees that can. Some of us travel to Malpheus quite regularly. Some of us are prepared to set it up that Bane's are found by the Uctina, Banes more powerful than they can truly control. Things that are designed to poison the soul and poison the blood. Poison their kinfolk and poison them. Turn their shitty little reservations into an old Tolly, a young and smith, and Herculean firearms mini-mart. For all I care, you poison them. This is the only way you can deal with a pest like the Uctina. You cannot fight them out in the field because they will not meet you there. You cannot set traps for them in your factories, in your offices, in your laboratories because they will not attack you there. All you can do is slowly, insidiously poison them. Allow them to think they have the better of you. Allow the Banes to d disguise themselves, have the spiral dancers commit some gift or perform some rite so that... The relics that they pick up, so that the artefacts they find are concealed, are disguised. They look mundane, but they feel powerful. And all the times they hold them, they are slowly being withered from within. So many Octina are capable of withstanding that kind of punishment. But some are not. The young are not. The oldest, they are not worth your time. You will not take them down, not by yourself. Yes, in a hail of silver gunfire, but you will not meet them like that. They will be stalking through the umbra, away from your interests, away from them entirely. If ever you are responsible for, let's say, an Endron pipeline, and you have been observing it poison the environment, that slowly the earth around it has been losing its life, and that the lake nearby has been spawning all kinds of strange aquatic monstrosities. Life is good there, yes. But all of a sudden things are getting better. Your guardianship has not failed you. You have still been there. You have been stood watching as your contract dictates, month on month, no attacks visible, and yet somehow the lake is now clean. Life is returning to the land. The oil is running smoothly. What is going on? The Octina has healed it from 
the Umbra from the other side. It has captured the evil spirits. It has slain the Banes. It has sent them back to Malpheus. How do you deal with a threat like that? While I do not like to have to use the dancers as a recourse, there is a reason you have one on speed dial. When something like that starts happening and you cannot find any reason for it, you contact your spiral dancer. You speak to a third or summon one. And you issue payment to them, for they have to step sideways into that area and find out what exactly the Octina have been doing with our operations. Beyond that, you step back and you let the werewolf families fight it out, because anything you can do from this point on is merely stand guard, wait for the Octina to be thrown back across the gauntlet at your feet, which is the part where finally you can pump a bullet between its eyes.